diabetes is a condition in which the pancreas produces little or no insulin. Insulin is a hormone that helps your body use blood sugar, known as glucose, for energy. Your body takes the food you eat and breaks down fat, protein, and carbohydrates for energy. While your body is digesting the food, the carbohydrates are broken down into glucose. The glucose is then absorbed into the bloodstream, where it is carried to cells throughout your body. Insulin helps your cells absorb the glucose in your blood, allowing it to be used as energy. A healthy pancreas releases a regular supply of insulin into your bloodstream. After you eat, your blood glucose levels rise, and your pancreas responds by releasing more insulin to move the glucose into your cells. Insulin acts as a key, opening up the cell so it can accept the glucose. In a person with type 1 diabetes, the pancreas produces little or no insulin. Without insulin, blood glucose levels rise. Without insulin, glucose cannot enter the cells and be used for energy. As a result, it remains in the bloodstream. In a person with type 2 diabetes, your insulin receptors are less sensitive. Though your pancreas continues to produce some insulin, it is not enough to meet your body's needs. When your body's cells are less responsive to insulin, it is more difficult for glucose to enter the cells and raise your blood glucose level. of the glucose through the kidneys. That's why people who have undiagnosed type 1 diabetes tend to go to the toilet a lot to pass urine. As the kidneys filter the glucose out of the blood, they also take a lot of water with it. So the person with diabetes will get very thirsty. The urine contains a lot of glucose and that creates an environment where it's quite easy for bacteria to thrive. So it's also quite common to get thrush or genital itching. In the same way, the blood contains a high level of glucose as well. So more bacteria than usual will tend to breed in flesh wounds and they might be slow to heal. Glucose can also build up in the lens at the front of the eye, causing the liquid in the lens to become cloudy. That can mean that some people with undiagnosed type 1 diabetes can have blurred vision. Because the glucose can't get into the cells to be used for energy, somebody who's got undiagnosed type 1 diabetes is going to start feeling very tired, lethargic and unable to sort of go about their normal daily routine. But the body still needs an energy source in order to work properly. So what it does is it starts to break down its fat stores and that can lead to weight loss. So, the main symptoms of type 1 diabetes are going to the toilet a lot, thirst, thrush or genital itching, slow healing of wounds, blurred vision, tiredness and weight loss. These symptoms generally happen quite quickly, often over a few weeks, and can be reversed once the diabetes is treated with insulin. the brain or the heart. Microvascular complications of diabetes can impair eyesight or cause vision loss. Excess blood sugar can cause nerve damage. Over time, high blood glucose levels damage the kidney filtering systems, allowing protein into the urine, a condition called microalbuminuria. Longer term, excess glucose consumption progresses to a condition known as diabetic nephropathy. As a result of diabetes complications, in severe cases, patients can experience kidney failure requiring dialysis or transplantation. For example, 
atherosclerosis, which is a hardening and narrowing of the arteries caused by increased sugar in the bloodstream. When this happens in arteries supplying the heart, it can cause coronary heart disease, leading to heart attacks and angina. People with diabetes are two to four times more likely to have a heart attack than someone without the disease. In fact, adults being treated for diabetes are just as likely to have a heart attack. In the brain, atherosclerosis can cause diabetes patients to suffer a stroke. The risk of stroke among people with type 2 diabetes is already high at the onset of the disease. In fact, it's more than double that of the general population. 